In Revit, the best way to precisely place walls is to first draw them, then dimension them, and then alter the dimension. So we will um, start by drawing some interior walls so we can start to dimension and move them around. Um, make sure you're in the floor plan level one. Go to the tool tray, click basics, wall. I'm going to pull down, uh, in this case, an interior wall, three and five eighths, double gypped. I'm going to zoom in. Choose a point to start. I'm going to drag down and click to finish. I'm going to escape a couple times to get out of the wall tool. Uh, I'm going to select and make uh, a few copies of this wall just to make it quicker. So choose copy. Make sure that multiple is chosen. And just start dragging them out. Once we have some interior walls drawn, I'm going to dimension them. Go to the basics tray of the tool tray, dimension, and zoom in. It may be hard for you to read uh, your wall lines. They may be really thick. Uh, if that's the case, uh, this is the tool up at the top to change that. It's the thin line tool. If you notice, if you toggle back and forth, you're going to toggle from its actual line weight that it'll print on paper to um, just a, a reference line uh, weight so it's easier to, to read. Uh, as I hover over the wall, I can choose which edge, uh, the outside edge, center, or interior that I want to dimension from. I click and hover over the next wall and choose and start individually dimensioning. I can escape out of the dimension tool, but now if I want to change the position of this wall, um, I first start by selecting the wall I want to move. So I choose that interior wall. Um, you'll notice that the dimension associated with the wall will be highlighted. I choose the text I want to change, enter a value, and it moves it. I'm going to click in white space to click out of that function. Uh, notice that I can't just change the position of the wall just by clicking first on the dimension itself. If I double click on that, it will bring up a dimension text window and all that really is is it's like AutoCAD, it's just a text override. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to continue uh, to dimension uh, the rest of the interior walls. I'm going to go to the dimension tool, choose my wall, move over as I place a dimension, uh, Revit wants to automatically align to its previous uh, dimension uh, to make it easier to line those up. I'm going to hit Escape. Uh, I can go through and I can uh, individually move these walls into position uh, using their dimensions. Uh, a second way to dimension these walls will give us an option to be able to space these walls equally. And that's if you dimension using uh, dimension in a chain. Uh, to do that, um, you start with the dimension tool. Come in. I'm going to this time. I'm going to start uh, a different way of dimensioning. I'm going to I'm going to dimension on the interior wall. Select it. Move over. I'm going to hover to the center line. Select that, and then I'm going to keep choosing new options. Um, by doing this, I'm keeping one dimension string. Sorry for all the zooming in and out. And when I finish at the end, I'm going to click on this interior edge, zoom out, and place the dimension. Now dimensioning in one chain gives me this EQ option. If I click on that, it automatically um, positions all the walls in equal spacing and I can toggle that on and off and move those individually.